Hey guys, I'm here with Sports for Champions and I'm going to give you an overview of what you guys need to do to get started and what you can expect in a few weeks time when you'll be visited by a professional athlete. We'll start today with what Sports for Champions is all about. Our motto is to inspire the children of today to be champions of tomorrow. We raise money to help young athletes with international potential to realise their Olympic and Commonwealth dreams and hopefully inspire some of you to do the same. Being an up and coming athlete isn't easy as they train 35 hours or more a week and we all know it requires hard work and dedication to be among the world's best but what we often don't see is the amount of time and money put in behind the scenes. Often more well established athletes will receive funding from major sporting brands or lottery funding however it's the gap just before that jump that Sports for Champions looks to help these athletes with. You know, without your help, we could miss out on the next Mo Farah or Becca Adlington. So whether it's money for equipment or help with travel, we're here to ensure that Britain makes the most of the wonderful pool of talent that we have available. The money that you raise will be split between funding young up and coming athletes who need vital help with travel, physio, track suits, trainers and warm weather training. And not forgetting your school's own sports facilities, of course, or any other project that your school needs to raise money for. So, the money that you raise could make a real difference both in your school and in the sporting history of the entire country. So today, you'll all be issued with a sponsor form that you'll need to take home and fill out over the next few weeks. And then once you've filled it out, you must return it with your sponsor money to your class teacher. This really has to be completed and returned before your Team GB or professional athlete visits your school. The sponsor form is really simple and what we need you guys to do is to gather as much sponsorship as possible for your Sports for Champions challenge where you'll be put through your paces via a fitness circuit by one of our athletes. Now please only get safe sponsors. A safe sponsor is a family member or family friend. Do not ask strangers for sponsorship. Now for all your hard work fundraising we will give you what we like to call a thank you reward. Think of this like a gold, silver and bronze that all sportsmen and women work towards. Your athlete presents these rewards to you on the day and the money raised goes into a big athlete pot to help the 33 athletes that we currently support. Now for all your hard work, you could receive the following. A postcard photograph of the athlete that you'll be meeting on your event day. An autographed A4 poster of the athlete an autographed instant photo of yourself and the athlete mounted in a keep safe wallet. If you're unable to get any sponsors then don't worry because at least you've tried your best and of course everyone gets a free sticker. But I'm sure you'll all agree that there's some really fantastic thank you rewards up there for grabs but the big one is for the class that works together as a team and raises the most sponsorship as they will receive a certificate of appreciation from Team GB for you to display with pride in your school foyer perhaps. So get those sponsor forms filled in and return to us as soon as possible and see what rewards that you could come away with. So today I have my two helpers who are going to do a brief rundown of the exercises that you'll be doing on the day. For secondary school circuits, you'll be doing burpees, leg drives, full or half press ups, tricep dips, star jumps, and in the primary school circuits, you'll be doing spotty dogs, leg drives, full or half press ups, and star jumps. All of this information is included in your welcome pack, but here's just a few quick points that Sports for Champions requires before the event day and a couple of suggestions to help everything run smoothly on the day. At Sports for Champions, we know how busy you teachers are, so we kindly ask that you study the welcome pack that has been posted with this DVD. Please ensure that the children are wearing their PE kits ready for their exercises and ensure that the children are wearing suitable non-slip footwear. We also need you to make sure that your risk assessments have been completed, which can be found in your welcome pack, and this ensures that everyone is safe on the day. 
You can allocate a runner who will help the athlete to call up classes to the fitness circuit venue so there is a constant flow of children to and from the hall and so that the day doesn't lose its momentum. It would be a huge help if you can get the children excited and motivated leading up to the event and not forgetting to display your target poster in the school foyer or hall for all your children to see daily. Use this to motivate the children in the morning assemblies leading up to your event day. You could also create a school project related to the Olympics, Commonwealth Games, European Championships or the World Championships and ask the children to research the athlete who is visiting and also to prepare some questions for the Q&A session at the end of the PowerPoint. Sponsorship forms and money really must be collected and counted by yourselves before the athlete visits and the rewards page can be completed and given to the athlete on the day of the event so he or she can organise the children's thank you rewards for their dedication and hard work fundraising. We look forward to seeing you in a few weeks time for a day full of sport and fun. See ya! My sort of thing that I always done at school was sports, so football in particular and um, athletics, they were kind of my first experiences in, in sport. I think sport doesn't have a big enough role in young people's lives at the moment. My dad was a professional footballer, seeing him always exercising and that just made me really want to get involved in exercise. I used to be outside as much as the average child now spends on the Xbox or the PlayStation. Sports I think is like music. It can take you anywhere. I've known it since I was a baby. I mean, I think my mum and dad's got video footage of me when I was three, throwing my dad in the living room. I don't quite play sports. I knew it was good artists. You just don't quite believe it straight away. So we've always been interested in sports. I'm one of four lads, and I came into the to a boxing gym about eight or nine. And I was so very, very active at a young age. Running around in the playground at school always causing havoc. But, um... I don't think I'm that talented. I think I just work really hard. Talent is only a small part of it, you know? Like It's got to be a combination of two. Work, a hard work ethic is really, really important. Um, and lifestyle is so important. You can't be going out the night before a race, the night before training. Respect, definitely one of them. Honesty, you know, fair play, teamwork, and the type of the values that I, I have and I've taken throughout my career. There's so many kids that have like, untapped potential um, and they're not aware of maybe some sports. Oh, I think it can be really influential, especially going into primary schools and secondary schools. Kids can be influenced at that age and you can make a positive change. It gives athletes an opportunity to go and inspire the younger generation as they, um, but also gives them enough money to be able to go and train like a professional athlete. The sport for champions is helping athletes. I think it's helping schools too. Going into schools and um, engaging with young children helps me feel good about myself. It feels like I'm giving back to the community. Sports for champions really help uh, developing athletes like myself, um, able to train, able to do it as more as a full-time full career because like the governing bodies just don't have enough money to do that so it's so helpful and it's helped me out massively last year. <laughs>